Okay, so you've got the return over here, and this is like the full card, uh, so going back to the beginnings really, or starting a new cycle. So you've ended uh, an old cycle, you know, the, the card preceding this would be the world card. So you've come to an end of a particular cycle in your life or in your career, and you are now starting on a brand new journey. And there is going to be a lot of um, success and achievement that comes. So you may have finished studying, or you may have finished some kind of... Um, uh, stage or phase of your career and you are now st entering a brand new phase and there's going to be a lot of achievement. You have achieved something and now you're going to start something brand new. Uh, you've got the Hierophant over here um, or the Hierarch card in this particular deck and it's got Virgo over there so there's still further learning that is coming in for you. Uh, you know, um, It's also got uh, Mercury in this particular uh, um, card so this is about, uh, you know, doing a lot more intellectual work, a lot more of focus going on to your work as well, and being very, very organized, uh, you know, um, also maybe specializing in whatever you're doing at this particular moment. So you've, you've ended an old phase and starting a brand new phase, and you're going more towards specializing in that particular career and a lot more intellectual work coming in for you there. You've got an offering over there, so there's some kind of sacrifice you had to make, a lot of sacrifice of time, a lot of effort gone into it uh, in order for you to get your success. And you've got the testimony card over here. So uh, this is about, um, you know, you may have been doing some travel recently or um, uh, a lot more information has come to light for you. So, uh, you know, um, you've, you are a lot more knowledgeable about what you are doing at the moment. So going into the future, you've got the 10 of um, the 10, which is the... Um, the Wheel of Fortune in this particular deck. So big changes coming in for you. Uh, so uh, uh, positive changes usually and a change in, in a direction. And it's going to be opportunities that present itself to you uh, that change the way you you start doing things. So the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So this is another card talking about the end of an old cycle and the beginning of something brand new and very, very popular positive because the card following it is the prominence um, uh, or rather preeminence card rather. So this is getting uh, a lot of recognition being put on the top shelf if you like over there. So you can see these people carrying this man over here and this is about achieving all your goals uh, that you've set out to achieve and um, you know um, attaining that maturity in whatever you're doing but also um, you know getting a lot more responsibilities and being in, in authority and being in a leadership kind of role uh, and that's coming in for you. So uh, getting there. Uh, so starting a brand new phase, ending up old cycles and, uh, you know, achieving uh, a great success as well. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Wands. So this is either some travel coming in for you or a lot of news coming in for you. But you're going to be very, very busy. With the Eight of Wands, it's about doing a lot of projects, a lot of uh, opportunities coming your way and a lot of messaging, a lot of communication coming in as well. Uh, and, you know, starting something new. So you're going to have, um, you know, you're going to be multitasking, juggling a lot of things, and you're going to be very, very, very busy soon. And like I said, there might be some travel that's coming in with that particular card, some work or business trips that you're going to be taking. So there's a brand new uh, opportunity coming in for you, and you've got that Queen of Wands over here. So, uh, you know, uh, getting messages as well. Uh, and... Um, Whatever this opportunity is, it's going to come, you're going to get uh, news about it. Uh, and uh, you're waiting for that news to come in. And it's going to give you a lot more freedom over here. You've got that a horse. Uh, there might be some travel as well involved with it. Uh, you might be starting a brand new career somewhere else. Um, and this is also your opportunity for learning as well with this Ace of Cups. Uh, so there might be some uh, further study as well, or maybe even some kind of specialization within this particular field that you're doing. But you're going to be getting this news. And, uh, you know, you're um, reaching this point where you're, um, you know, you're going for some kind of... A leadership kind of position with this queen of wands uh and uh, a lot of people are finding you uh, you know you are very attractive to them uh from the work point of view um and maybe there's some offers that are coming in because of that so uh you are going to start a brand new cycle over there with that ace coming in now the moon card over here so in the past year or so you've been uh maybe feeling a bit uh, despondent 
feeling a bit down, feeling a bit confused, uh, maybe being very, very worried, uh, not seeing things very clearly uh, with this. But that cycle is now coming to the end. You can see the, the moon is ending over there. So that phase is coming to an end. That confusion is now coming to an end. And that old situation is now finished. Um, you've got the death card over here. So something, starting something brand new. Uh, and moving forward into the future. So letting go of the past, whatever you've been doing in the past year is now uh, ending in this last three months and you're going to start something brand new. You've got the page of swords over here. So you're trying to make some kind of decision on how to move forward. So you are coming up with a new plan, a new idea, a new strategy, and you're definitely getting more clarity into the situation. So you're coming out of that phase of, you know, the moon phase where you were feeling a bit confused, um, you know, not really knowing how you're going to proceed and a lot more clarity coming in with you for you with that page of swords. There could be even new contracts coming in with that page of swords. Now you've got the universe, so the end of an old cycle uh, and the beginning of something brand new. And this is the card of achievement. So whatever you have been doing, you have been successful and this is successful completion of that particular cycle. And, uh, you know, a lot of prominence coming in over here. You're in the spotlight right now and people are giving you a lot of uh, recognition. So you may have graduated. Uh, or you may have completed a course, or you may have completed some kind of cycle within your career, and you are now moving forward with a lot of skills. Now, you've got a choice to make. You've got the lover's card of year, so you're making a decision about what to do next. So some news coming in about this new job, or a new offer, or a new path that you're going to be following, and you have to make some kind of choice uh dealing with that. You've got the star card over here, so a lot of inspiration coming. Whatever you're doing, it's going to be very global, so it's going to be very international, uh, and you need to get rid of all those negative emotions that you are, have going over, over there, and have a lot more faith and optimism that things are going to work out pretty well, because there's a, a universe card sitting next to it, or the world card sitting next to it, so there's definitely success that is coming in for you. What you're worried about is that, you know, you won't be able to make it or you will fail at what you're doing. And maybe you're looking at your past disappointments and, you know, uh, letting that get you down. So you need to get rid of that negative energy or stop feeling so negative about things and be positive. Now, going into the future, you've got the strength card, you've got the seven of wands and you've got the full card. So the strength card is um, about, uh, you know, having the confidence to be able to act and be able to be uh, sort that particular uh, challenge out. So whatever you are uh, facing at the moment, you will be able to sort it out. You will be able to conquer it. Uh, you need to focus on your own goals, make up uh, a plan about what you want to do and focus on these goals and you will be able to overcome any kind of challenges. And you've got that seven of wands over here and standing up for yourself as well. So whatever, you know, problems, you know, it's not all going to be very smooth sailing. There's still some challenges that are coming your way, but you will be able to deal with it. You are very mature uh, and you are going to be able to deal with it. And you're starting up a brand new um, uh, pathway in life. You've got that full card over here. So something brand new, that end of that old cycle and something brand new starting for you. And, you know, it seems like you might do some a lot of travel uh, as well with this new cycle that comes in. Because you've got two cards. You've got that Queen of Wands, which is about travel. And you've got that full card that's showing that open road. So a new pathway. Uh, you know, the world is your oyster as well. Because you've got this the world card as well. So there might be a lot of travel involved in whatever new thing you're going to be doing as well. So going into the future. Um, sorry, the Oracle read. I say going into the future. <laughs> okay, so the Oracle read from the Fairy Tarot. You've got the Strength card again, and this is repeated. So you do need to act with confidence. And it says, grace and inner strength are needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness and time to embrace how wonderful you are. So you are going to be able to deal with any problems that come. So there might be some issues that you will still have to sort out, but you do have what it takes to actually succeed. You've got the Six of Sun over here which says return of people from the past and remembering events differently in a better way or light than how they really have occurred so it looks like you know there might be some kind of offer coming in for you you may have known uh, or worked with these people in the past but this brand new offer is being made to you and it's something that is going to be really good 
And then you've got that ace of winter over here. So don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas should be implemented. So with this ace of winter over here, you are going to be faced with some challenges. Uh, um, you know, there are some, you know, there are some issues that you do need to deal with. Uh, you might have, you know, people that are giving you a little bit of grief, but you will be able to sort your, sort it out because you, you can see this person's walking away from this, um, uh, it's a lion, I think, or a tiger, uh, walking away from the challenge. You will be able to sort out those problems and you've got that seven of wands standing up for yourself and sorting out these people that are giving you grief. So if there's any kind of energies that are opposing you, you need to stand up for yourself. And the strength card is saying you need to act with confidence. So you need to come into yourself and be aware that you are pretty good at what you do um, and nobody can actually dispute that. So you have that um, as a weapon in your arsenal to actually use to fight against any kind of challenges that come your way. And all in all, with the full card, you know, you are starting a brand new phase in your life. Uh, and even with the world card, you've entered that old phase. You've gotten the recognition or you will be getting that recognition and you will start something brand new that is going to lead you towards success. But you're going to be very, very busy, like I said, soon with this uh, Eight of Wands card. Uh, you know, there's a lot of movement uh, coming in for you. There's a lot of uh, decisions to make, a lot of things to do. So you won't have time to be depressed. Uh, and it's going to be a very, very positive phase that you are going to be entering into. But know that you have the power in your hand and you'll be able to succeed. So I hope that this me uh, reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.